Today we are going to discuss about a very important concept that is nothing but human cell and the type of human cells and everything we will discuss. Uh, see first of all a unit cell. What is the meaning of unit cell? The smallest part of the crystal which is repeated three-dimensionally and having shape as like crystal. As like crystal is falling as a unit cell. So if you can see like this one understand just I will do one thing. So this is like a, a crystal or a crystal lattice. Okay. Yes, you see, focus on this uh, for example, yellow color. So what is the whole shape of the crystal cube? In this, what is the smallest uh, uh, part? This yellow color part, if you can imagine. Okay, what is the shape of this? The smallest part of the whole crystal and having shape as like entire crystal the two three dimensionally distributed or three dimensionally arranged such kind of smallest parts only we are calling as a unit cell means the whole massive cube can be considered as a crystal in this every small uh, cubes we are considering as a unit cell why because this is the smallest part of the whole crystal and repeated three dimensionally and having shape as like entire crystal such kind of smallest parts only we are calling as a unit cell so that's why in this magic cube if you can take any smallest like yellow green orange blue if you can take any smallest cubes they are considered as a unit cells Okay, now we are going to further concept that is nothing but uh, uh, parameters of unit cell. Parameters of unit cell. Okay, what are the parameters of the unit cells means? We will see. First of all, we have to take the one unit cell integrate like this. You see, given only. This is the one of the smallest part of the crystal uh, that is nothing but unit cell. So along this is nothing but for example x-axis, this is nothing but uh, y-axis, this is nothing but uh, z-axis, this is the origin point. Okay, along the x-axis this edge length I am taking as small a, along the y-axis this edge length I am taking as small b. Along the z axis, its edge length I am taking as a, a small c. The angle between A and B edges is nothing but uh, gamma. The angle between B and C is nothing but alpha. The angle between A and C is nothing but uh, beta. Means we have to take like this different edge lengths and as well as angles and we are getting different shapes of unit cells we are getting this is the criteria to describe the unit cell so what is the meaning here a b c are edge lengths edge lengths and what is the in between between a and b edges what the angle will come gamma in between b and c what the angle is coming alpha in between A and C, angle is coming beta. Means uh, now we have different type of the crystal lattices with the different shapes. These all are possible by taking different lengths of edges and different angles among them. That's why we are describing or we are discussing about the parameters of the unit cell. Now we are going to discuss about the uh, types of unit cells. Types of unit cells. So how you are classifying the unit cells based on one important criteria based on uh, relative positions. Relative positions of constant particle in a unit cell. Relative positions of the constant particle base, we are classifying the unit cells into some different categories. What is that? Mean? Based on relative positions of the constant particle in unit, unit cells, they will be classified into two types. One is nothing but uh, first category is nothing but primitive unit cell. Primitive unit cells. Okay, another category is nothing 
watch a center unit cells center unit cell what is the meaning of primitive unit cell not so try to get you what you are several times will be repeating this thing primitive unit cell means is a, a smallest part of the crystal yes in this the constant particles only located at the corners of the unit cell whatever shape is not a matter but when we will call that one as a primitive the constant particles is only located at the corners means the constant particles are at the corners of unit cell is calling as primitive unit cell now here i am asking one question Okay, number of lattice points in primitive unit cell will be how much? What is the meaning of uh, lattice points or sides? The relative positions of the constant particle in the unit cell is calling as lattice points or sides. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's only nothing but eight is the number of lattice points in case of uh, primitive unit cell. Now we are going to discuss about the center unit cell. This is the second category. What is the meaning of center unit cell? Center unit cell means again this will be classified into different types. In this, constant particles are at corners, corners, and also present at the, and also present at the different centers, different. types of centers of the unit cell means the constant particle commonly at corners and also present at the different types of the centers okay again based on the types of the centers they will be classified into three categories a first category is nothing but a body centered unit cell body centered unit cell What is the meaning of body centered unit cell? In this, constant particles is located at the corners and also present at the center of the body. Center of the body means imagine this is the uh, unit cell. If you can take yes, body centered means what we can imagine. At every corner, constant particles will be there, like this A, and the whole body having one center at its body center. There also one constant particle is there. Such systems of such units are known as body as body center units. Just I will show that one. You see, if you take uh, one of the unit cell like this, will be there. In this, constant particles will be located at the corners. Only and also present at body center. The whole body having a center. There also what will be there? Constant particle will be there. That's calling as body center unit cell. Now important point. Number of lattice points or sides in this will be how many? How many? Eight corners will be there. And also one body center will be there. Together how many relative positions will be there? Nine. So number of lattice points in this will be nine, and we will discuss one more thing is nothing but the face centered unit cell. Face centered unit cell. What is the meaning of face centered unit cell? If you can get it, you see constant particles is located at commonly corners and also present at the center of each face. Center of each face. Yes. What is the meaning of this one? Yes, imagine this one. Okay, here this is the one of the particular uh, cubic shaped unit cell. Here, commonly constant particles is located at uh, corners and also present at the center of each face. Yes, if you see carefully, this is the one of the cubic shaped unit cell. Yes, observe carefully. Here, constant particles will be present at the corners. Yes. How many corners is over? Eight corners will be over. And for this unit cell, how many faces are coming? Yes, front, back face, top, down, left, right. 
together how many phases are coming six phases each center of the phase is also occupied by constant particle means yes left side phase center one particle the right side like that top has one phase center down has one phase center as well as front has one phase center and back has one phase center together how many particles is coming yes you check it here number of lattice points is equals to commonly eight corners plus how many phase centers is coming six phase centers is coming together how many lattice points will be there 14 lattice points will be there all of you got it all what is the meaning of center you will see is a unit cell in which constant particles commonly at corners and also present in different types of the centers Based on centers, we classify them into three categories. What is the one? Body center. Another one is phase center. Body center means constant particle is at corner and also center of the body. And together, that is point C is nine. If you take phase center, the constant particle will be located at corners and also center of each phase. Then we are getting together fourteen particles. Yes, one more type is painting is nothing but uh, end center unit cell.
Now we are discussing different types of the crystal systems based on their shapes. Very very important for competitive point of view. We have to observe very carefully. Basically, basically we have seven types of crystal systems. Seven types of crystal systems. Uh, carefully you have to practice, especially for competitive examination point of view. What are the seven types of crystal systems? Under this first one is nothing but the type of uh, crystal. Type of crystal. Later, uh, possible variations. Possible variations. And after that, edge lens. Edge lens. After that, uh, angles or axial angles. Axial angles. And after that, uh, examples. Totally. We are drawing like a table of column. And this, everyone has to be practiced very carefully for uh, especially competitive point of view. Yes. First of all, we are discussing about the uh, seven basic crystal systems. A uh, first one is nothing but the cubic. Second one is nothing but the tetragonal. I will explain how we are getting tetragonal shape and all these. Third one is nothing but the orthorhombic. Orthorhombic. And fourth one is nothing but the hexagonal, hexagonal shape or unit cell and fifth one is nothing but the trigonal, trigonal, sixth one is nothing but the monoclinic, monoclinic and the seventh one is nothing but the triclinic. Basically, how many crystal systems we have? Seven types, cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, hexagonal, trigonal, monoclinic, triclinic. These are uh, uh, types of the crystal systems based on their shapes. So, how we are getting different shapes by varying the different edge lengths as well as angles. Now, we will see possible variations here. So, possible variations. Possible variations. What is the meaning of possible variations? Under cubic, we can get a primitive unit cell, we can get primitive denoted by the uh, shortcut method, and if we can get body center, body center uh, B, we are getting, and you may get a face centered unit cell also, we are getting here. So under cubic you may get a primitive, a body center and a face center. Ok, like that we will get here under primitive we are getting as well as body center we are getting. Under this we are getting primitive, body center, face center and end center also we are getting. Different variations based on position of the constant particle. Under this we are getting only primitive, here also we are getting primitive. Here also we are, here we are getting a primitive and as well as end center and last we are getting only primitive. So under every crystal system we have some possibilities uh, for a different uh, orientation or different arrangement of the constant particle like this. Are you clear? Yes. Now we have to discuss about the edge lens. Edge lens relation. Okay. At a time we will discuss edge lens as well as angles and some examples. Axial angles, axial angles, and uh, some examples. You see, when we are getting cubic shape, length, breadth, and height should be equal. A B C all lengths should be equal. Then angles alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degrees. A simple example, this one you see. Okay, we are getting cubic shape. How length? A belt and height all are equal. If you can take any two edges, between them angle is coming exactly 90 degrees. By taking these measurements, we are getting a cubic shape you are getting. What are the example for this? It's important for concrete examination point of view. NaCl as well as zinc sulfide and a diamond. Yes, you may ask a question. Diamond is under which type of crystal system? Cubic crystal system. 
put it like that. If you want to get this one, you see what the uh, Edgeland's relation. A is equals to B, but not is equals to C. Okay, any two lengths may equal, but third length may be different. Then what are the angles? Alpha is equals to beta is equals to gamma is equals to 90 degrees only. Then getting shape is falling as tetragonal. And the tetragonal we have example tin oxide and the titanium oxide as well as calcium sulfate. Those crystals will undergoes tetragonal. If you see orthorhombic, A is not equals to B not equals to C. Means all angles will be means all lengths will be different. But all angles should be equal to 90 degrees. Yes, it is a one of the uh, enotropic form of the sulfur is nothing but uh, rhombic sulfur will be. Rhombic sulfur is the example for this one. And if you see, this is A is not equal to B is not equal to C. Imagine this uh, shape is nothing but orthorhombic shape. You see, length and breadth and height all are different. But coming angle should be 90 degrees. That's why uh, this is considered as a T shape or the rhombic shape uh, under the crystals in nothing but rhombic sulfur. Best example for this is nothing but uh, matchbox. Uh, sometimes you ask me in concrete examination, matchbox is underground, which type of crystal system or the rhombic. And if you can see hexagonal, there will be possibility in primitive. Wood. But what are the relation between edge lengths? A is equal to B, but not is equal to C. But what are the angles relation? Alpha is equal to beta is equal to 90 degrees, but gamma is equal to 120 degrees. What is the geometry then? Hexagonal shape is coming. You study in first year what uh, uh, solids are having hexagonal? Ice as well as graphite. Graphite. And you see one more thing is nothing but trigonal. Under trigonal, what the relation? A is not equal to B is not equal to sorry all are equal A is equal to B is equal to C all are equal and uh, what are the uh, relation between angles alpha is not equal to beta is uh, equal to gamma is not equal to 90 degrees alpha is equal to beta is equal to gamma but not equal to 90 degrees then what geometry is coming triangular geometry is coming all edge lengths is equal but all angles is equal but not equal to 90 degrees what are the example for this uh, trigonal? Is nothing but uh, calcite. Calcite is a special arrangement of these CaCO3 particles, like that uh, mercury sulfide, and like that we can take sodium nitrate. These color becomes this category. Let us see monoclinic. Under monoclinic, what are the relation? A is not equal to B is not equal to C. But what are the angles relation here? Alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 degrees, but beta is not equal to 90 degrees. What are the uh, example for this one? One more um, monoclinic sulfur, the uh, allotropic form of the sulfur is nothing but monoclinic sulfur. Monoclinic sulfur as well as one more is nothing but Na2SO4 sodium sulfate crystalline is nothing but 10 water molecules will be there. Uh, last one is nothing but triclinic. How you are ready? All are different edge lengths. A is not equal to B is not equal to C. But all angles is also not equal. Alpha is not equal to beta is not equal to gamma is not equal to 90 degrees. If you take like this, we are getting which geometry? Triclinic reality. What the example for this? The very very important thing: boric acid H3BO3 as well as potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 as well as copper sulfate. Hydrated copper sulfate is there along with the five water molecules. This all will undergoes so different types of the crystal systems. So is nothing but seven types and uh, what is the things we have to discuss. Very careful how to practice this one. Based on this one, what questions is asking? Okay, basic crystal systems. Basic crystal systems are how many? How many are there? Seven is there. These seven will come. No, you may ask in another way. What are the total number of crystal systems? Total number of crystal systems. Means what? You see, under every category we have some possibilities. You count all of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Together how many times is 
possible. 14 is possible. That's why total number of crystal systems means 14. Those 14 only we are calling as Bravais lattices. Total 14 crystal lattices only we are calling as Bravais lattices. Some other questions is asking. What are the most symmetric? Most uh, symmetric crystal system. Symmetric uh, crystal system. What is the most symmetric will be there? Yes, you see, all edge lengths is equal and all angles will be equal. That's why it is calling as a most symmetric is nothing but a cubic, cubic crystal system. And one more question is asking, what is the most asymmetric? What is the meaning of asymmetric and not symmetric? Means what are the most asymmetric crystal system? Means all edge lengths is not equal. All angles is also not equal, that's why it is nothing but which one? Triptych. These are four important bits we believe. Uh, this is nothing but for the basic crystal system, seven total number of crystal systems, 14 also going as Bravo is statuses, and most symmetric is a cubic because all edge lengths and angles is equal, and all the most asymmetric means all are different. Nothing but triptych. Why? Because all edge lengths is not equal, all angles is also not equal. Yes, all of you got this one. This is the most repeated things, and we have to see what the potassium dichromate having which, which type of crystal system practically. Like that, we will get uh, you have to practice carefully, go through thoroughly, you will get the competitive information from this. Yes, sir. Thank you.